Where the hell's the fair use? Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm about to run the diadem with my uh, free company. Now the diadem is this place that you can get into if you are you know, a member of a free company and they are starting to build a free company airship. They have to actually have one or start to build one for you to actually get in there. We're going to the easy mode. The hard mode is where you actually have to have a fully functional one. So let's jump right in. Let's jump right into the action. We are about to join. party. I have covered up the names. They have to meet you. On right, party finder. And we will very, very soon be going in. Ready check. And just putting in that I'm ready. We are currently in foundation. This is the first level of the city of Vigard. There are two. One is foundation, the other is pillars. This is where the four society live. Pillar is where the upper crust live. No, 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 sorry. Wrong. This is pillars. Duh. I just woke up. Okay. This is the pillars. The other is the uh, foundation. This is where the upper crust lives. And this is the airship dock. These NPCs over here, uh, when you... When you are in the diadem, you will see items drop from every mob that you kill. And what you want to do is you want to um, draw lots on them. Uh, normally in a dungeon you can draw need, greed, or pass. Um, they'll set only greed in here. Guys, setting up these runs. He'll only set greed. And it's, it's RNG from that point on. Uh, random number generation. It's sort of like rolling the dice to see what number you get. And then you'll get that piece of light you can do. And then what you do is when you get back, you turn that piece of gear in. And you'll get Sky Pirates. And you use the spoils to buy items. A variety of different stuff. The one thing we're trying to get to, the one thing a lot of people are getting to, trying to get to, but we're all here for. The one thing we're all trying to get to. I guess it's not. Where is the rest of our party? Oh, 
Part of our party ran off on us. This has not happened before. What this is like is back in the days of Final Fantasy XI, there was content like this called Dynamic. And you would get into it from. I knew of the entrance to Dynamic Doll, where you. Not the doll, but a stop. And you could get into it from virtually every city in the game. And it was supposed to be um, a realm that was the dream world of the shadow world of what the world would be like if he won war. And he would gather up what to go in and talk to the like blood. First and second would have to talk to like 50 million, million people. And he would go in and set it up, and we would have this, like more than a hundred people go in with it. This is similar to that, it's the way it's been set up, where you gather a bunch of people, get together in this case, and a number full party, and you go into a location. This is different every time you go in, a different set of items. There might be other party members in it. Um, that sort of content works for 11, not so much for 14. So, it's going to undergo some things. Um, the last live letter is Yoshi P said that there's going to be some alterations. And what we are essentially going to do is just killing everything we can. What we're doing is we are going out from all this gear. We're not going to really be using any of it. I noticed that all this gear has climbers on it. And there's some stuff up here that we can't get on. 
this one might be from the only spot that I really do. don't want to click on this, but don't just spawn in the NF. We just want to kill these tier 1 to 2 models. Faster, get more loot drops that way. We have so many summoners. If we have so many summoners in our party, we can do Close Rickles, which will lower the defense magic. If we run into, we'll make their magic attack very more effective. Last one I was in, we had three black We basically ate everything we ran into. Black mages are the most, or one of the most powerful. Damage to uh, basically burn whatever they come across. Especially if someone really knows how to play that play that bad well. Directly is effective for summoners because Square Enix recently changed it to where um well Square Enix had changed um, the attack performed by summoner Peggy into the magic attack. And so so it's directly in the effect. over party attack. And that's what's going on. You know, sound effects over the party attack. I don't use them. I used to use them a long time ago with 11, but it's not so much use for the people. Everybody's sitting together.
this this here. That turns all of our attacking from an instant to a sort of a um, a spell-like attack. It makes us so powerful, but it causes us to have a kind of attack. It can be used in conjunction with other abilities. Certain abilities that we have are locked in. And while we are able to put our dots up, that increases our DPS. Because our dots make up a large proportion of our output, they're not the most powerful DPS there is. A lot of our power also comes from the fact that we. Other job, other 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 have pulled roughly him up, any mob that comes within range of considered an attack. They will attack you.
my dots critical. I can use it. Make a powerful attack. And if it's 
you're wondering, I am using the Steam controller, which is connected very well. This controller is not as bad as some people say it is. This controller is actually pretty good. There are certain games that it's not exactly the greatest to do. Things that you make heavy use of this pad. I'm not that good to do it. This game uses the D-pad heavily, but it, it's not bad. In fact, uh, the way this particular D-pad works is actually pretty good. Two turrets, the Rook and Bishop turrets, and they can either they're either ranged DPS or AOE DB, um, DPS, and then with motion, with motion is turning from the MP regenerating turret, which is covered, and regenerate MP to a TP regenerating turret. Out 
Hovering above the ground. You can fly out here if you find the fly. If you find the April Sun, you can fly out here to a fly. If you have to cut that April Sun, you can actually get the fly out. It takes a while for you to get the fly out. You can have a good amount of fly out. Played it back when Final Fantasy XI was just unforgiving. That game, that game would make you a dick. Now it is, but I hear it. At least stop playing around the time they had to. Basically, they there were these hovering ships that were out in the north. And you go to them, you activate a train, and you go around, you kill the mobs that are on the train. Diadem. And it's gonna drop us back off here in the forest. So let me see how many spoils I picked up. Ooh, one. So let me turn it in. And how many? I got 16 spoils. I'm trying to get 99 for the Pegasus. All right, well, that was the Diadem. Uh, that was uh, some new content that Square Enix added to Final Fantasy XIV. And I thank you for coming along with me. And, you know, try this game out. It's not hard. It's not a difficult MMO. It's not like Final Fantasy XI used to be in, you know, back in the day. Uh... Back in the day, this game was unforgiving. Final Fantasy XI was unforgiving. This one's not so much. And... We've... I've run into a lot of people who were former WoW players. And they say they really prefer this game over what World of Warcraft has become. So... Thanks for joining me. 
and I will see you next time.